listen. Get ready. This is Rula and Ryan's Celebrity Scoop. KRBE. All right, it's brought to you by Taqueria Arandas. I can't do it. I cannot roll R's to save my life. Never will be able to do it. But I can eat there and I eat a lot. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot. All right, Sam. So what do you got for us this morning? <laughs> Sorry. Focus, y'all. Focus. So we are talking about Rob Schneider and his daughter, L. King. And she was talking. And um, she's had that one hit song. What, like, how many years ago was that one? Oh, uh, yeah, couple just, years. Was it was COVID or like three, three, years? three years. It's been it's a while. X and O's. Yeah, it's a big one that we, I'm pretty sure we played on KRB. Oh, we I think oh yeah, oh, in we 2015. played it. 2015 mm-hmm. was 15. 2015 oh, years ago. It was X and O's. It says, wow. Yeah, oh, no, we weren't even close. It guys. said the. Um, Album is called Love Stuff, uh-huh. but the song that I feel like we really played was X's and O's, yeah. and that came out in 2015, which is pretty crazy. She has wow. a new song. I think her most, oh, I'm sorry, she has a lot of, her most recent album, it looks like it came out in 2023, and it was said, Come Get Your Wife. Oh, okay. It kind of looks like it was, I could be totally wrong, but maybe like a country kind of vibe, hmm. because um, the titles of some of the art, like the songs is Drunk, Worth a Shot, like Come Get Your mm-hmm. Wife, I feel like that's kind of like country, but I could be wrong. X's and O's was her more poppy hit. She does okay. more like a folk yeah. country. Yeah, but she like is influenced by country rock Take and blues. Take my wife, leave my tractor. That's it's what I'm kind of. That's there. what I'm kind of vibing with, but I, I don't know if that's completely accurate. We can we can deep dive into that later. But she's been in the news right now um, because she was talking about her dad and the things he says on social media and how she doesn't agree with it and basically her upbringing and childhood. Um, here's a little bit of the audio that we have from L King in terms of what she feels about her dad. I was like a really really heavy child. My dad sent me to fat camp, and then I got in trouble one year because I sprained my ankle and I didn't lose any. Weight. Very oh. toxic and very silly. I had already started getting tattooed and it was like 108 degrees. So I was having to wear sweaters because my dad was like very anti tattoos or like any form of self expression that differed from what he wanted. I disagree with a lot of the things that he says. You're you're talking out your ass and you're you're talking about drag and you know anti gay rights and it's like get. F- Oh, like, no, I never heard that. I, I didn't know that. He's, he's just talking about oh, no. his ass, and I, I want to use this opportunity to say, I disagree. I do not agree with what he says. So that so, was her whole... Of her dad right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the person yeah. that's sitting there? Oh, no, I never heard that. <laughs> I don't know who the... I didn't get that information from yeah. the audio that we got. I was trying to figure that out. Was like, per, this on a podcast? Like, this was podcast. this on social media? It I was, was trying to... Yeah. Was yeah. it? Thank you. Yeah. Do you know the name of the podcast? I don't podcast? know the name, but it's that real tatted up chick. I can't think of the name, but yeah. Okay, it's a anybody podcast. that knows it, you please text us. Okay. Care East text line 37530. I'm sorry we don't have that information, but that was L King and her whole relationship with her dad. And now Eric is mad. Because he did <laughs> No, I guess he was on. Maybe Tucker Carlson. I believe last night. Oh, or was that, uh, no, or yesterday. Because this came out this morning. On. What's that? Who, where, whose show was this? Apologies Tucker Carlson. On. It was on Tucker. I don't know if he's got a podcast uh, show as well. He has. I thought he had a Twitter show. Yeah, I'm not sure where he's at. But here's what he said. But just listen to it. I just don't feel like. I feel like his last thing he says to his daughter is just. Uh, it just irked me. I don't irks know why. you. Fun being a parent, isn't it? <laughs> I want to just tell my daughter, L, I love you. I wish I was the father in my 20s that you needed. Clearly, I wasn't. And I hope you can forgive me for my shortcomings. I love you completely. I love you entirely. I just want you to be well and happy with you and your beautiful baby, Lucky. I wish you the best. I feel terrible. And I just want to, you know that I don't take anything you say personally. Yeah, whatever. How could oh, you, how, how that's could that you last not? part. I don't take the pers- last part. I don't take anything personally. You're the one that was an absent dad. Yeah, and, and he made sure to say that part in his twenties. Has he not? He's trying to make it sound like I was. So he's see, using it as an it's excuse. excuse. In it's age. not an apology. You're just trying to. Explain. Yeah. Has he not seen his grandchild? Like he's yeah. is in By the way, Jelly Roll's wife. It was uh, her podcast. Yeah. Oh, Bunny XL. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank yes. you. I knew I texted her. Holy crap! What's it her is name? All over. So Bunny Buddy XL. Oh, okay. Is Jelly Roll's wife. Yeah, it was her podcast. Okay, yeah. Jelly Roll, uh, Bunny, it's called Dumb know, Blonde Podcast. That's what it is. Thank a, y'all. You know, I had my son in early 20s. We got married in you do early change. 20s. And you do change. Mm-hmm. And no parent. The biggest thing that shocker to me is when I had my son a few years later, I was like, holy crap. My parents had no idea what they were doing. Mm-mm. Like, we, go, I felt so safe around my parents. I felt like going on vacation, doing yes. things. Mm-hmm. I felt like they mm-hmm. had a plan. They knew yeah. what was going on. And then it was like... My mind was blown thinking, they didn't know crap either. We're just all winging this as parents. You don't get a right. handbook. In your 20s, we're, we're immature. We're not mature enough. I mean, we do our best, and some are mature enough, but I'm just saying we make mistakes. That's why, like, you know, when I'm So in... I can see that he made mistakes in his 20s, but mm-hmm. I just don't feel like 
just because I know people that know him, Rob Schneider, he's just a jerk. You're just not buying it. No, he's just not, no. A, he's not a nice person. He he's seems not. like he, and after, he just got lucky because Adam Sandler took him in. Even uh, Adam Sandler can't stand him that much because he can't even make him like be a main character anymore. Yeah. He just he's, gets like a little be, like, line little or two. Yeah. Oh man. You would Sucks. think that working in entertainment, he would have a you know um, a, a better opinion of or more be more accepting of folks like drag queens and such. Mm. You know, like, it's I mean, just strange I mean, everybody, to me. Think about. Just because you're an actor doesn't mean you're going right. to be a liberal. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. And his Frazier, daughter, uh, Kelsey Grammer, he's Republican. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that stuff. girl from Full House, she's really like that, too. Yeah, so, I mean, not everyone in California right. thinks that way. Right, right. But he was on SNL, like a comedy show. Like, there's yeah. some wild, fun stuff that happened up there. Yeah, and one, probably one of the most liberal shows out there. I saw yeah. the apology kind of sucked, though. I didn't think oh, it was. Yeah, uh, half-assed completely. Yeah, it didn't seem like an apology. Completely. It seemed like his excuses. Hey, yo. Time for KRBE's Rula and Riot show to tell you what's going down, 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 down in no. H-Town. All right, the Astros swept the Rays in 10 yeah. innings for their eighth straight win. Ooh, that was, that was a, I almost felt like playoffs on the wide because they're so close. Mm-hmm. And then we gave it one to one. I'm like, oh, no, we're going to lose because Seattle's losing. Now we're two and a half games ahead of them. And now we've got the White Sox come to town. Ooh, who have, dun, dun, dun. They are 43 games out of first place. <laughs> oh, wow. 43 games they're, they're, out of first place. They just tied the record for 21 consecutive losses. Wow. Dang. So if I go to a game this weekend, I don't think I'll be wearing my White Sox stuff. <laughs> what time's the game uh, this weekend? I mean, I have no idea. Is it a daytime game? Fireworks night Friday night, so that's a late night. That's probably a 7 10 game. Oh, okay. And then the weekends, I don't know. Sometimes they do 12. One of them will be an afternoon game. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So uh, I'm doing this story for Sam and Kevin because it's all about beer, and it's about NRG Stadium. So did you know that NRG Stadium really has one of the cheapest beers in all of the United States? They did a poll recently. What are the cheapest venues to actually get a beer at a sporting event? Uh, Miami Dolphins, Atlanta Falcons, okay, Detroit Lions, mm-hmm. uh, the Jets, and the Giants. Their beer is all five dollars. So their number one cheapest beer, those cities. Uh, the number two cheapest city is Houston, Texas at NRG. How much? Is six dollars. Oh. Six dollars. I've never seen. I did, there I've is never. No they say way. that we have in this study a six dollar beer. You don't see that? It's in a corner somewhere. Absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> it's the guy selling it under his shirt. It's, it's in like, the hey, come it's here it's the six hundred. You got to go buy it. that Bruce. It's hidden in the back. It's like beer. in his belly button. He's pulling it out. There's no way. I've never seen a six dollar beer. It's probably like the size of like a mini Coke can. There you go. Those little minis. Yeah. Dixie cup. Two sipper. What do you think? Do I drink those little mini cokes? Zero sugar ones. The you Coke feel zero. healthy. You're like, I'm taking a healthy oh, route. The half a can. Yeah. You look at my me. hand, I feel like a giant holding it. Oh, my but God. there's really Dainty. not too many health benefits from drinking that. Uh, you ain't going for the health <laughs> benefits. No, you're going for the bubbles. <laughs> yeah. The fizz. But Eric said, I feel healthier drinking it. Well, it's just because it's tiny. Like, I can't drink. Am portion. I weird? Because I, wa- I can't drink water with fish. I don't really? know why. Whatever. It's weird. Eat fish. Like, say I had salmon last night. I'm like, I can't. Uh-huh. Drink water. So I had a bourbon with it. Okay. Oh. Not milk. <laughs> I think that's, that's just another. That's no. weird. Man. We don't just have enough time alcoholic. for that, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> I can. I can <laughs> drink <laughs> bourbon with dinner with food. I have to have bourbon outright. I can wine with dinner. Uh huh. But yeah, the bourbon ain't right. That ain't, that ain't right with yeah, dinner. Yeah, that's like a pre-drink. Yeah, that's a that's well, a I'm pre-drink. Pre-drink. I get hungry, so just, uh, so take going. a guess mm-hmm. as Why? what city has the most expensive beer? Well, it's got to be the Cowboys. Because they're worth ten billion dollars. I don't know. So. I was in San Diego. We're very expensive. Yeah, that was super. Uh, expensive. It's actually not the, team, you're, the Padres. You're, you're both wrong. Actually, the most expensive LA, beer at Rams. NFL game, New Orleans Saints and the San Francisco 49ers, where their Ooh. average beer price is twelve dollars. That's the Saints. There's, there's no way. Even twelve dollar, yeah. we can't find twelve dollar beer. I feel like ours is normally like thirteen fifty. Yeah. yeah. Unless yeah, maybe exactly. it's just because I get craft beer count- and that's why it's more expensive. I guess maybe well, if you got like a, a Miller Light or a Bud Light. How much are those twenty four ounce cans? Like thirteen, fifteen, so maybe I they're saying they if you cut them yeah. in half, oh, yeah. it's that price. Yeah, but like a draft beer is supposed to be cheaper. Everyone's saying there's know. no six dollars. Yep. There's no yeah, way. There's, there is no way. What did they? What's just... the year on this? Was this no, like 1990? This just came out. Was this, this in the 1900s? Oh, three when they built it. It was like the introductory rate at Energy when they first started. This doesn't make any sense, y'all. Atlanta, they do those real cheap. You get if you go out and look, their food's cheap. 
Yeah. And they started, they're like, you know what? We want to give an experience to our fans. Makes sense. Their the tickets are so pricey. Yeah, they want to give us, uh, give us an experience look. here. It's called we're poverty stricken when we leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, six. There's no way there's six. I if anyone buy six dollar beer, let us know. Right. All right. That's what's going down in H Town. Coming up next, uh, an emergency couples court, Eric. You said that's all. We have to solve this problem. Judge your pants on. Oh, man. Sam, Kevin, you're going to join the jury. I gotta find my gavel. Oh, be judges oh, actually. Oh, oh, oh. I, is shorts? Oh, is shorts okay? I wore jeans. My judge is shorts. Well, you're wearing a robe over. It anyway. Yeah, it don't matter. Yeah. Okay. Take, really the, matter. take the pants off. We don't care. All right. Hey. Oh. Oh. Well, maybe we do. <laughs> I think some people care. It's cold in here. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm a baby boner. <laughs> <laughs> a couple scored is next on the Rule and Ryan show.